Today I'm going to finish up section 9.4 in your textbook and um, we're going to cover section 9.5 and these have to do with thermodynamics and entropy in particular. All right, so thermodynamics, uh, which is what we learned about in the last lesson as well, is the study of the movement of heat, which is what it means in the Greek. So dynamic means movement, and thermo usually refers to heat. So um, in this chapter, we're interested in how energy is flowing um, during chemical reactions. Okay, so this leads us to the first law of thermodynamics, which is very similar to the law of mass um, conservation, which is that energy is conserved in this case. So it can be converted, converted from one form to another. So for example, from potential to kinetic energy, but the total amount of energy has to remain the same. All right. The second law of thermodynamics um, brings us to uh, our next topic, which, which is entropy. So the second law says that any process that happens by itself um, results in a net dispersal of energy. Um, and so what this means is that as a reaction happens, energy needs to be spread out more in the universe than it was before, okay? And so endothermic reactions don't result in things spreading out in terms of heat because we're actually pulling heat into the system. So instead of heat being dispersed um, throughout our environment, it's now um, stuck within those chemicals that we just formed. Okay, so the reason it happens must be because we're spreading out energy in some other way. So, for example, um, if we go from having something in the solid state to being in the gas state, that energy is much more spread out because the gas molecules um, have many more places to be than they did um, when they were in the solid form. So that is um, one other way that um, energy can get spread out. All right, so this brings us to entropy, um, and as I've sort of alluded to, entropy is the natural spreading of energy. So this is how we know that certain things happen naturally and other things do not. So entropy is the reason that it looks funny if you were to see a swimmer um, rise back up out of the water versus diving in. So diving into the water and seeing the water splash up and then fall back down, that is a natural process. It's a natural spreading of energy, whereas going the other direction would involve a lot of energy going back into the system, which is not going to happen spontaneously. And entropy is often thought of as um, the amount of disorder in a system, and that's not completely true. It's really spreading of energy, um, but as something becomes more disordered, the energy is also spread out more, okay? So this, um, these are the two components of thermodynamics, enthalpy, which we talked about in the last video, and entropy, um, and then hopefully in that TED-Ed video, you got a sense of how these two things interact with one another, and we'll also explore this um, in the activities we're going to do in class over the next several days.